Hello, it's Thursday, July 19th. Welcome once again to Pastor Bob Daily. It's good to have you join me today. My friend Brooke on Facebook says, Myself and many others have always been taught that faith is important, but works have no value in salvation or in justifying us. However, I was reading this morning in James 2, and evidently it appears at first glance that works indeed are part of the mix in salvation. Abraham is one example, and Rahab is another. But the Bible says that they were justified by works. Can you maybe discuss this on your show and bring some clarity to this dilemma? I'm happy to, Brooke. You know, the verse that you're referring to is a great one. It's found in James chapter 2, verse 17. So also faith, if it does not have works, deeds, and actions of obedience to back it up, by itself is destitute of power, inoperative, dead. And you know, the same would be true of works. By itself is dead. When they work together, amazing things happen. Now, I want to talk about this from a personal view for a minute. You know, I realize that my faith needs to be a verb. It needs to have action. If I really believe something, truly believe something, then I do something about it. Otherwise, it kind of proves that I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I struggle with this a lot. Not just with my own performance, but so many people around me. You know, we do a homeless ministry, and some of you are tired of hearing me say that, and I understand, but I do it almost every day to, in some capacity. We're feeding someone every day. And so I, it's, it takes up a lot of my time, a lot of my thinking. And it's frustrating for a lot of reasons. One is that I can't find Christians who will help. A lot of them say, good for you. I'm so glad you're doing that, and pat me on the back and walk away. So many people that could be involved and aren't. And it gets a little frustrating. The last few weeks, for instance, my mom, bless her heart, has had to cook mostly all of the food for two days a week. And that's a lot of work. Why? Because a lot of the people that helped just weren't there. And this is the time of the year that usually we go through changes. And some of the people that have been helping usually drop out and then we get new people and it just kind of turns over like that. And all the years we've been doing this, it's kind of been like this. Well, you know, there's a, there's a really good reason, folks, why people drop out, but also why they stick with something. You see, my faith is deeper than just a belief system. It has to do with my heart, with how I feel about things, the people that capture my heart, and when I really have faith and I have this communication that God gives me, and by the way, you don't have faith by yourself. It comes from the Holy Spirit. Faith is something that happens from deep inside of you. And it's prompted and created by the Holy Spirit. So when I begin to have that, something happens. I find more compassion. I find more love. I find more of a burden to, to get involved with things that matter something begins to happen when I do. So, you know, why do I continue with the homeless ministry? Because it is a lot of work. And sometimes, honestly, it's work I don't enjoy doing. The reason I do is because I am in love with all the people that go through the line. They have my heart. They have my heart because God puts it there. I'm so thankful for that. And, you know, I've met some of the best people in my life that come through that homeless line. And uh, it's been a blessing, huge blessing to me. But that compassion comes from my faith, and I know that. Now, that's important because, you see, when I truly have faith and it's moving from inside of me, and it's prompted by the Holy Spirit, then something happens. Faith isn't a noun, just something that I say that I have. It's a verb. It's active. And you can't truly have faith and allow it to work without something happening. You know, Abraham and, and Rahab are two great examples. There are many more. 
But the people that are truly motivated with compassion, with with doing something about their faith, are the ones that allow the Holy Spirit to work inside. Now, I want to talk to you for a minute. Christians are notorious for having opinions and not being involved. In fact, most of the Christians that I know are like that. Shame on you. If you are one of those that say, I have faith, I believe, and you're not showing it, you're not involved, you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to move in compassion to get involved with people that might need your help, whatever it might be, then you're truly not allowing faith to work actively in your life. I want you to think about that. This is really important because you see, if more Christians had active faith, faith that does something, more people would be affected. I'd love to see that happen. And I'd love to see that happen with you today. God bless you. Have a great day.